Please stop screaming. Look, I don't want to be here, okay? I just need a place to stay for a while until the cops leave. Okay? Now listen. If I put this pillow down, you promise you won't scream? You promise? You swear? You swear to God? You bastard! Who the hell do you think you are breaking in my apartment like that, you dirty, rotten, creepy, rotten, creep? I didn't hurt you, did I? Go over to the couch and sit down. Now look, uh, I don't want to be here, okay? But you and I are going to have to come to an understanding. Okay. Why are you watching a test pattern? It wasn't a test pattern before you came in. You made me miss the end of the movie. Oh. Well, I apologize. Do you mind if I turn it off? Mi casa es su casa. Me. Hey, Mr. Thief! I might be right outside. Well, then maybe I should scream. You do, and I'll shoot you. Please don't. You're a polite killer. Look, I'm not really a killer, all right? But I could be. Don't get any ideas. Damn. So many of them. Must be chicken rooms. Damn. Why don't you just turn yourself in? You're bound to get caught anyway. Shut up! I can't turn myself in. I can't turn myself in. Well, how about if I do it? You're not going to do anything but, but sit there and, 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 and keep quiet, understand? I got to think. Is this going to take long? You don't get it, do you? You're in a life and death situation here. I am? Yeah, you are. I am, so you are. Get it? If I get caught, you're my out, see? You're a potential hostage. Don't, don't you realize that? But maybe it won't come to that. Maybe they'll just go away, or maybe they'll get a sudden craving for donuts or something. Donuts? You're a weird. Well, what did you do, anyway? On your business. Well, excuse me, Touchy. I just thought that since it seems like you're going to be here for a while, you could at least try to be more engaging. What the hell are you talking about? I'm not here to make conversation. I'm here because I need a place to hold up for a little while. So I have to suffer just because you need a place to hold up? Yeah. The world's not a fair place. It was just your time for a piece of bad luck. Oh, really? Well, I think you better leave if you're going to talk like that. Yeah? Well, that's just fine with me. Sit down and, and shut up. Do you want some ice cream? No, thank you. Kind. Heavenly hash. Heavenly hash? What's it got? Corned beef in it? No, silly. That's just the name. It's got chocolate, vanilla, marshmallow. Sounds very fattening. Do I look fat to you? Oh, my God. I forgot I had this on. I hadn't noticed. Thanks. I'm sorry. I have other things on my mind. I'm glad to hear that. By the way, uh, you don't. I don't want to. Look fat. I hope not. Thanks. It wasn't exactly complimented. It was an objective observation, an unbiased opinion. Well, thank you anyway.
ask who it is. Who is it? It's in the bank, ma'am. Miami Beach, please. Ask her what they want. What do you want? We have reason to believe that there's a prowler in the building. You mind if we ask you some questions? So you're a prowler, eh? Tell them you never open your door after 10. What? Tell them. <laughs> I never open my door after 10. We understand, ma'am, but I need to know if you've seen or heard anything strange this evening. This is Miami Beach. Of course I've seen and heard strange things. Uh, how do I know that you're with the police? You could be the prowler for all I know, or a rapist. Why don't you look for the people, I can show you my badge. How does it work? How can it not work? It doesn't work. How could it not work? Tell them, uh, it's cracked on the side and, uh, and when you look to it, it looks like he's uh, trapped inside the kaleidoscope and uh, you can't tell what you think about him. Oh, you're weird. Uh, it, it's cracked on this side and, uh, what did you say? Jeez, when you look to it, it looks like he's trapped inside a kaleidoscope. Very weird. Uh, and when I look through it, you look like you're trapped in. Uh, I can't say this. What? You look like you're trapped inside of a kaleidoscope. A what? A, kale a kaleidoscope! Haven't you ever heard of a kaleidoscope? Isn't there someone in there with you? No. I mean, uh, yes. Uh, my boyfriend. Could I have a word with him? Uh, he's, uh,. Sleeping. Do you mind waking him? Oh, I couldn't do that. Uh, he's a very sound sleeper. And besides, he doesn't speak very good English. And besides... Sam, I don't have time to stand here and talk you through the door all night. I'm going to talk to a few of your neighbors, and then I'm going to come back. When I do, I expect a little more cooperation from you, okay? And I'd like to speak to your boyfriend. I'll be back. I think he's gone. Yeah. He'll be back. Maybe with the warrant. I gotta get out of here. Is there a fire escape out of these windows? No. Why do you have to live so high up? Well, I didn't know I'd be entertaining peeping Toms or I'd have gotten a first floor apartment with big windows. I'm not a peeping Tom. Oh, excuse me, prowler. Yeah, I'm not a prowler. Look, this mask is getting real hot. Do you mind if I take it off? I don't know. Are you real ugly? Turn around. You've got to be kidding. No, turn around. I don't want you to be able to identify me. I just saved you from being arrested, and you're afraid I'm going to identify you? Well, you did have a little coercion. I can't believe this. This is the thanks I get for shutting your mouth. You almost blew it. A kaleidoscope? Well, it was the only thing I could think of. It was an image that passed through my head at the time. I'm new at this. Give me a break. I don't know why I'm being nice to you. You probably are some twisted peeping Tom. Look, will you please just turn around so I can take out this mask? I'm getting a rash. Oh, poor peeping Tom. Much better. I gotta get a lighter material for my ski mask. The South Florida humidity is too much. Why don't you try using nylons next time? Hmm. Not a bad idea. I was just kidding. You really should give this up. I can see that you're not up to it. What do you know about it? I've been doing this all week. This is the closest I've come to getting caught. Can I sit down? My legs are getting cramps. Mi casa es su casa. Just, just, just don't turn around. Come on. I won't turn to stone, will I? Just let me see what you look like. Forget it. Why are you so curious, anyway? I have an active imagination. 
God knows I have to. What are you doing home so early on a Friday night, anyway? None of your beeswax. Ah, so now you're getting defensive. Don't you have a boyfriend or something? I said none of your beeswax. Beeswax? What are you, in third grade? Hey. What? What's your name? What's it to you? Darlene. Darlene? How sweet. I hate it. Why? It's a nice name. Sounds like darling. Like everyone is always calling you darling. You know, like everyone adores you. Even strangers. Darling. It's Darlene, okay? And I'd rather strangers didn't adore me. All right, fine. Darlene. Still, it's nice. You already said that. Hey, look. I've got the gun, remember? If I want to tell you twice your name is nice, I'll do it, okay? Sure. Knock yourself out. Say it three times for all I care. If you need to wave that phallic symbol around and make you feel powerful. Uh, I'm not wa waving it around. I just want you to understand that this is no toy, and I'm not playing around here, okay? No. I'm stupid and deaf, and everybody calls me darling. So no, I don't understand. Look, if it makes you feel better to brandish that firearm like it's a penile extension, by all means, do it. Personally, I think you'd feel better if you just put it down. <laughs> you don't look too comfortable with it. You hold it like it's a, a three-day-old baby diaper. <laughs> what do you know about it? My father was a cop. I've been around him enough. I'll bet you never even fired one of those things. Yeah? Well, that makes me twice as dangerous then, doesn't it? <laughs> or twice as stupid. You come up against a cop as green as you are, I'll lay odds on the cop every time. Yeah, well, well, well hopefully it won't come down to that, all right? Look, l l let's change the subject, huh? Sure. You got the gun, you choose the topic. All right. How the hell am I going to get out of here? Do you expect me to come up with the answer to that? I'd be aiding and abetting a criminal. I'm not a criminal. Well, then how do you explain the gun and the ski mask? All right, so maybe it doesn't look so good from where you're sitting. But I do have my reasons, and they're very good ones. And I haven't heard anyone yet. Oh, I suppose that that yet is meant for me? Not necessarily. I gotta get out of here. Well, I have a dress that might fit you. And some high heels that you might have a hard time getting into. But we could try. Very funny. I wasn't trying to be funny. What, too macho to save your own skin? I'm sure they're not expecting a woman prowler. 6'1", with a square jaw. I can never pass for a woman. Really? Don't turn around. Forget it. It'd never work. And then you come up with something. Why didn't you pick someone else's apartment? Sorry, I didn't have much time to shop around. Besides, it's Friday night. What's a semi-attractive girl like you doing at home? Watching TV alone on a Friday night. I'm uh, waiting for my boyfriend. He works late. Your boyfriend, huh? Mm-hmm. I'll bet. Nice try. I think you're just a lonely little nerd girl waiting for Prince Charming and wondering why you never met anyone worthwhile. Well, at least I don't get my kicks spying in people's windows and breaking people's doors down. Ah, you think that's how I get my kicks? Don't you think I'd rather be at home watching football right on the town with some sweet little girl? But I can well, think of Well, why are you? As long as I'm your hostage, you can at least tell me why you're doing this. Something to do with money? No. A woman? Not really. Drugs? No. I give up. 
It's none of the usual things. No, you wouldn't understand. Hey, look. If you don't want to tell me, that's fine. But don't insult me by saying that I wouldn't understand. I'm going to night school to be a therapist. I do know some things. A therapist? You? Physician, heal thyself. Oh, hey, look, Buster. I think you're the one with the problems. You don't know the first thing about me. I can look around here and tell a lot more about you than you think. You're probably glad I broke your door down. This is probably the most excitement you've had in years. I bet you can't wait to write about this in your diary. Shut up! Hey, Darlene. Why'd you put your hand over my mouth and cover for me? I don't know. Thanks. I'm, uh... I'm not really a prowler, you know. Oh? Well, I guess technically I am, you know, according to the police. But I've never stolen anything. So you are a peeping Tom. No, I'm not a peeping Tom. Well, then what exactly are you? Uh, father. What? You're a priest? Boy, have you strayed. Don't turn around. No, I'm not a priest. Uh, I'm a daddy. So? Why aren't you at home with your wife and kids instead of prowling around strange apartments where you don't belong? It's a long story. Well, it doesn't look like either one of us is going anywhere. Not until they carry you off to jail. I can't go to jail. I just can't. My wife and I separated a few months ago, and she got temporary custody of her little boy, Josh. She also met another man. In fact, I found out she was seeing him before we split up. She's living right here in this building. Oh my God, you came here to kill them. No, no, I, I just came to get Josh. I'm gonna kidnap him. What? Why would you want to kidnap your own son? Because I get to see him every two weeks. The last time I saw him, he had black and blue marks all over his upper arms like someone had shaken him pretty hard. Did you ask him about it? Of course. Left, I, I thought about it, and it, it just didn't add up. You don't get black and blue marks on your arms from falling. Poor little guy's too scared to tell the truth. It was on fire. I wish I'd thought about it at the time. I, I, I wouldn't have let them take him. When's the next time you're supposed to see him? Not until the custody hearing next week. I can't take a chance that judge will rule against me. I want that little boy. I need to get him away from that blonde witch and a mafioso boyfriend. Wait a minute. Is your wife about 5'7", bleach blonde, wears a lot of jewelry, always has a cigarette in her hand, looks like a cheerleader for the Bimbo Olympics? That's her. I can't believe you've seen her. Yeah. Ooh, and that guy she's with. Perpetual stubble, beady eyes. He, he has a gold tooth. Looks like he's been to one of those hair-weaving clinics. That's him. Uh, I cannot believe you've seen them. This isn't such a large building, and they're hard to miss. 
Cute little boy, though. Only... What? Nothing. Why'd you stop? You were about to say something and you stopped. Is there something to do with my little boy? I'm afraid to tell you. If it's about my little boy, you'd better tell me. When was the last time you saw him? Last week. Why? Did he... Did he what? Did he have a... Uh, a black eye? I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. No! No! You can't go... Get out of my way! Oh, my God. I can't believe that you don't remember me. Of course, I, I was a sophomore and, and really a nobody. But we did share a trick class together. Remember? Mr. Pritchett. I sat in the front row, second seat from the right of the blackboard. You always sat in the back row, right next to Melissa Rogers and Steve Carson. <laughs> and I'll never forget the time that you were 20 minutes late, and Mr. Pritchett asked you if you'd enjoyed your lunch, and you said that the pizza was great, but that the shepherd's pie was lousy. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> I don't believe this. You know me. Of course I know you. I even helped you once and you never even knew about it. What are you talking about? I was helping Mr. Pritchett grade test once. And I actually changed an answer on your test so you would pass. I've never done anything like that before. Or since. Why? Because I liked you. No, I mean, why is this happening to me? This is the thanks I get? Look, I appreciate you helping me then. And now. But this is all very weird. Makes perfect sense to me. What do you mean? I'm your guardian angel. Yeah. Oh, don't, don't worry. I'm not freaking out on you. Don't you think that it's kind of strange that you just happened to pick my apartment and then I just happened to have helped you in the past and that you just happened to be in trouble again? You know, you do look a little familiar to me. I do? Yeah. Uh, didn't you used to be overweight? And you had some strange glasses back then, like, uh, like John Lennon glasses. That's right. And your hair was always tied back, right? And a pitiful little ponytail. Pitiful? Yeah, kind of scraggly, like there really wasn't much thought put into it. <sighs> Stray hairs all over the place. Thanks. I can see that I made a real positive impression. And to think that I thought you were such a nice guy. Boy, did you have me fooled. I even had a slight crush on you. Well, you certainly have blossomed. It's been eight years since high school. I hope I've gotten better. Sure. You were a mess. A mess? Get out! Get out right now! I was only kidding. Thanks for changing my grade. Sure. There's nothing. I knew you needed to pass. <laughs> yeah. That son of a bitch. I should kill him for what I did to Josh. Well, what would that solve? You'd get thrown in jail, which you probably will be anyway. And your little boy would be without a father.
You forgot to load your gun. If they catch you with that, what the heck were you thinking of? Hey. <laughs> Gotta get out of here. You keep saying that, but you're not coming up with any ideas about how. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. That cop is gonna be back here any minute. We have to think of something. Wait a minute. What? I told him I was here with my boyfriend. Yeah? So just act like my boyfriend. That's it? That's all you can come up with? What's wrong with it? I can't pretend I'm your boyfriend. Why not? Oh, because you never have a girlfriend like me, right? No. Oh, wait, I forgot. You like the cheerleader from hell type. That's not what I meant. I just don't think I can pull it off. Too much of a stretch, huh? But then you think of something. I'm tired of saving your ass. boyfriend and girlfriend. Oh, I don't know. Well, what else can we do? You can't leave the building. They know you're in here. And I'll cover for you. Oh, come on, it'll be easy. We already know each other, sort of. Yeah, maybe you're right. And I told him that you were asleep. Maybe you could just lie under the covers and snore a lot while I try to get rid of him. I, I suppose. Okay. First, we have to get you changed. Why? Because you look like a cross between Zorro and the Boston Strangler, that's why. Tell you what, you pull out the bed and I'll find you something to wear, okay? Okay. This is crazy. No, it's not. It's kind of fun. It'll be like acting in a play. Jeez, I just hope they let me sleep. I can pull that off. <laughs> I know. You used to pull it off all the time in Mr. Pritchett's class. Jeez, you've got some memory. Yes, but it's very selective. For instance, I remember you dated three girls your senior year. Marion Reynolds from September to January. Dorothy Blitzen from February to April, and Kathy Healy from April to May. <laughs> well, that one was short-lived, but tumultuous. My God, I think you're dangerous. How do you remember all this? I don't even remember it. I told you. I had a slight crush on you. Darlene? Yes? You mind if I say something very personal to you? What? Get a life. <sighs> Sam, that was a long time ago. I have a life, thank you very much. It just hasn't been exciting, so I've had a lot of time to think about those days. How's this? You've got to be kidding. What's wrong with it? Nothing, if you happen to be a florist. Oh, come on. So it has a, a few flowers on it. Big deal. Haven't you got something a tad more masculine? I mean, I am supposed to be your boyfriend. You know, boyfriend. Look, my army fatigues are back at the cleaners. This is the best I can do. Well, I guess I'm going to jail. Oh, for goodness sake. Will you just put it on? I refuse to wear something so, so 
blatantly... What? So... Oh, you do that very well. Don't you have anything else? No. Well, I'm not wearing it. Who is it? In the bank, ma'am. Police. So Debbie back to have a word with you? It's very late. Um, I, I haven't heard or seen anything. Good night. It's not that simple, ma'am. We've got a report that the prowler was last seen up here close to your door. For your own safety, I think it'd be wise if you open the door and let me have a look around. <laughs> Thanks for your concern, officer, but I assure you that if we would have heard anything, my boyfriend and I would have known. Pardon me for saying, ma'am, but the neighbors said they'd never seen you with a boyfriend. Oh, really? Well, it just so happens that my neighbors don't know everything about me, and I do have a boyfriend. He just works late, that's all. Is he there right now? As a matter of fact, he is. Do you mind if I speak to your boyfriend? Boyfriend? Um, uh, uh, yes, I mean, uh, uh, well, he's, uh, sleeping. He's sleeping. Look, ma'am, I appreciate a little more cooperation than this. One would think you're trying to hide something. Oh, no, Lieutenant. It's just that my boyfriend hates to be woken up. He gets very testy when he doesn't get his, uh, beauty sleep. <laughs> You're acting very suspicious, ma'am. Are you sure you're not hiding something? Are you being coerced by someone? Of course not. What a silly idea. I see signs of a possible forced entry on your door, ma'am. That combined with the fact that you refused to open the door, you refused to let me speak to your so-called boyfriend, and you refused to cooperate in any way, shape, or form, leads me to believe that you're hiding something. Now, I'm going to ask you one more time to please open the door. Otherwise, I'm going to send someone for a search warrant. Now, which is it going to be? What were the choices again? Ma'am, I advise you to cooperate and open the door. Okay. Come in, Lieutenant. Now, that wasn't difficult, was it? Well, as you can see, I wasn't being coerced into not opening the door. I'm just a little wary after dark. I understand your apprehension, ma'am, but it's a police matter, and it's for your own safety that we do this. Fine. Now, if you've seen enough... Well, actually, I was hoping you'd be willing to answer some questions. Oh, well, I don't think I'd be much help. Um, I've been sleeping most of the evening. I see. Uh, can you explain these marks on the outside of your door? Oh, those? Uh, my dog did that. Your dog? Yes, my dog. It's funny. Don't see a dog. She's very small. Here, Pooch. Here, Poochie Poochie. Guess she's bashful too, huh? Uh, well, actually, she's not here right now. Oh, where is she? She's out getting her hair done. At midnight? Uh, well, they have to keep her overnight. She's getting a perm. You know, it's funny. Most small apartments that have dogs uh, smell like a dog, you know? They have that, um, dog smell. Uh, well, uh, my dog is, uh, is, uh, very clean. She has a very undog-like smell. It's, uh, really quite amazing. It certainly is. And I guess she doesn't, uh, play with toys either. Or eat. Well, I refuse to spoil her. Uh, well, you see, we're not really supposed to have pets here. It's against the rules. But I just couldn't resist. Uh-huh. You won't tell anyone, will you? It'll be our little secret. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, Miss, um... Fenton. Darlene Fenton. Well, Miss Fenton, as I've stated, the reason I'm here, there's been reports lately about a prowler in the building. Now, we don't know what he's up to or if he's dangerous, but he's been seen in and around the building several times. <laughs> He's been described as medium height with dark clothes and a dark ski mask. We don't know whether he's armed or not. Oh my. What about him? 
Do you know if he's seen or heard anything strange lately? He hasn't. How do you know he hasn't? Because he told me. He told you he hasn't seen or heard anything strange lately? Uh, well, um, he's mentioned that it's been awfully quiet around here lately. I see. Sounds sleeper, huh? Oh, yes. <laughs> when he's not working, he's sleeping. Really? Where does he work? What? Where does he work? Oh, here and there. <laughs> here and there? Is he a pilot? Well, no. Actually, he's a, um, a, a corporation consultant. Uh, financial marketing, uh, development advertising analyst. <laughs> no wonder he's such a sound sleeper. He must get tired just explaining his title. Oh, yes. It, it does take quite a lot out of him. Do you think you mind if I welcome him? Is that really necessary? Uh, he can be quite a monster when he first wakes up. It won't take long. Besides, you said he doesn't speak much English, right? I said that? Yeah. When did I say that? Earlier, when, he was out, when I was outside the door. Oh. Something wrong? No. It's just that he's gotten better since then. Since I was outside the door? Uh, no, since I've known him. Oh, well, anyway, why don't you wake him? Me? Yeah, I think it'd be better if you woke him. I don't want him getting upset at some strange man being in his girlfriend's apartment. I see your point. He is really out. Maybe if you come back tomorrow. Why don't you try a little harder? Sweetheart. Darling. You know, he is really, really out. Has he been taking sleeping pills? Damn, I wish I could sleep like that. <laughs> yes, oh, well. it is quite impressive. Well, maybe if you come back tomorrow... <whistles> well, I can see he's learned the basics of our fine language. It comes and goes. Lieutenant Banks, Miami Beach Police, I'd like to ask you some questions. Uh, oh, yeah. Un contiriero no problemias con disimo el la... Papers? Hmm? What did he say? I have no idea. You live with him and you don't understand him? Uh, I think that he said that his papers are good. Is that right, Don? <laughs> uh, yeah. That's fine. I'm not from immigration anyway. Where is he from? Uh, from? He's from Tarantula. Tarantula? Yes. Tarantula? Okay, and I suppose they speak Tarantula. That's right. I've never even heard of that. You never heard of Tarantulas? You mean the spider? Yes. Well, of course. Well, that's where they come from. Tarantula. Must be in South America. I think so. You think so? Uh, well, um, he doesn't like to talk about his humble beginnings. His family were poor tarantula farmers I who see, were. I see. But um, he's escaped from all that, haven't you, darling? <laughs> well, that's uh, quite an interesting shirt you've got on. Uh, it's traditional tarantula sleeping garb. <laughs> Este la mama configuró un asusión por Christmas. He says that his mother gave it to him last Christmas. Well, it's uh, very festive. I don't know how he sleeps with those loud colors. <laughs> Do you know if he's seen or heard anything strange lately? Darling, have you seen anything strange lately? Why are you asking him in English? I could have done that. Uh, well, I, I think he understands it better when I talk to him. I, I think it has something to do with the uh, frequency of my voice. <laughs> Comprendemos? Si. He says he hasn't. I can see this isn't yielding much. Uh, do you mind if I look around your apartment? Sure. 
By all means. and it's kind of a personal thing with me. Don't worry, I'll just be a moment. Uh, would you mind if I go in and tidy up first? Really, it's not necessary. I'll just be a moment. Where did you put the clothes? Well, you can't say we didn't try. Tarantula? Is the first thing that popped into my mind. <laughs> I'll come visit you in jail. First, I wasn't sure about you two, but after seeing that... Uh, Lieutenant Banks, I, I, I'd just like to say this on his behalf. That's all right. I think I have enough proof. But you don't understand. You, you don't have all the facts. Forget it. You've got nothing to worry about. What do you mean I have nothing to worry about? I can see you're in good, safe hands with this young man here to protect you. Language better not to stand. <laughs> Well, I guess whoever it was got away. What kind of dog do you have? Chihuahua. Short-haired little dog with a perm. <laughs> oh, by the way, you might want to tell the landlord about your toilet. The handle sticks a little bit when you flush. We'll take care of it. Senor. <laughs> it comes and goes. <laughs> I gotta get a shirt like that. I think they mail order from Tarantula. Well, anyway, we'll be watching the building all night, to stopping strangers and checking IDs. You might want to spend a quiet evening in. I guess you're stuck here for the night. Yeah. It looks that way. If you don't mind. Oh. It is quite an imposition. Since I only have one bed. I, I can sleep on the floor. Uh, I mean, uh, you've certainly extended yourself enough for one night. Enough for one lifetime, in fact. <laughs> oh, I think I can extend myself one more time. It's a big bed. Or so the bed. You are my guardian angel. You seem to need one. <laughs> Don't we all? How am I going to get my son back? This kidnapping bed didn't exactly pan out. Sam, you have to do it legally. You don't want the law to chase you for the rest of your life. And what about your son? You have to think about what's best for him. Yeah, I know. It just kills me to think of anyone hurting him. I gotta get him back. You will. And I'm gonna help you. How can you help me? Oh, I can be very resourceful when I want to be. My sister's a lawyer. She handles these kind of cases. 
It's not bad for a girl who used to have a, uh, a pitiful ponytail, huh? I, I never said that. Oh, yes, you did. 